we're here again, back with Adam. What's up, guys? And uh, it's about seven o'clock. We're about to leave right now from my driveway and uh, see what we can find. There's one just around the corner. I went online. There's six pages of garage sales, so hopefully I find something. And again, this week, uh, we're, I'm going to go back to uh, CJR's house. We're going to compare everything, and we're going to stream everything live on Twitch at 1 o'clock. So uh, wish us luck, and uh, we'll keep you updated. All right, so it took a while, a few stops. There's lots of garage sales today, but I did find a stack of games. You can see them right here. Bam! 25 games, 25 bucks, buck a game. Some of them are good, some of them are okay, but for a dollar a game, I convinced her because she wanted uh, four dollars a game, but I said if I buy them all, she said a buck a game, so it was a good deal. So I scooped them. Hey guys, so we stumbled across a big community sale. It wasn't listed. Um, we're finding sales every few houses. It's been really good. Um, not too many video games, nothing really old like NES or anything like that. But I am finding lots of games, uh, standard games, you know, for a buck a piece. So I'm grabbing them anything for a buck a piece. Um, here's a stack of 14 good games, no sports titles here. Well, except for Outlaw Golf, but that's a fun one. Uh, it was only 20 bucks. We got a Game Boy Advance with uh, Yoshi's Island, too. And it's a pretty good deal. I mean, we're going to hit some more sales up just down the road. We can see like five more in iShot. So here we go. Yeah, there's going to be lots, lots more, hopefully. So, uh, we, as always, I'll uh, keep you informed. All right, guys, so we've been to a lot of sales, haven't really been finding much, but I got a little bit of a score here. I paid a little bit more than I normally would, but it's because it's quality games. I got uh, Soul Silver, Heart Gold, and Pokemon White. I paid 24 bucks for them. They wanted 10 bucks a piece, so they, get, they did give me a little bit of a discount, which was nice. But uh, these are all quality games and are worth well more than that. And we just found this one here. It's a cigar box. Well, I saw they had some cigar boxes there and everything. And then Andrew found some uh, games that they had there. We ended up uh, striking a deal with them. I mean, two bucks for the cigar box plus these games. So, I mean, perfect little score for that. And a bunch of Game Boy Advance games. So, how many was there? Like 10? Oh, let's, yeah. let's double check. I'll pay it right there for you. Yeah, a bunch. So, is a it, whole bunch. we have a good score. Two bucks for the box and the games. They're not the best games, but for two bucks for all those games, I'll take it. So we're going to keep going around. It's uh, 10.30 now, so it's slim pickings. We're just basically hitting what we can and what we see as we come across them. So, uh, like always, keep you updated. Hey guys, so garage sailing is done for the day. I've dropped off Adam, as you can see. And I'm on my way to CJR's house to do the recap video. We also are going to be showing all our garage sale finds, both mine and CJR's, on his Twitch stream every Saturday at 1 p.m. So if you want to see all of our garage sale goodies, both mine and his at the same time, make sure you tune into his Twitch stream at 1 p.m. Eastern Time every Saturday. And you'll see everything we got. You can ask us questions. It's live, interactive. And um, yeah, you get to see everything we got a week early. So make sure you check it out. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitch below. And I'll see you guys at CJR's house. Hey, what's going on, guys? CJR here, back in the uh, game room number two with uh, Jamo911. How's it going? We just got back from garage sailing. We first, uh, basically the season opener for May. Oh, yeah. Uh, over 200 sales listed online around there. Like, yeah, multiple, multiple community sales. Multiple big community time. Sales. So, a uh, really big day. Um, we got a lot of great stuff. Uh, we're doing a little bit different format this year. Um, you can find Jamo911, Andrew's channel, in the link below. If you go ahead and click, go give him a sub. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Andrew is the main competition in my area. And uh, he does just as well as I do. So, you guys have seen over the years the stuff that I've been able to pick up. Um, he picked up just as much. So go check him out. You can find his channel in the link below. And then uh, he posts a video every Saturday like I do, right? Yep. Yeah. I try. And then you can go see his live garage sale footage. He's got some really good in-car footage. A lot like JHMDF, for those of you that know him. Yeah, I have my uh, hidden cameras on order, so I will be getting actual footage so you can see me make the deals and, you know, see what's at at the garage sales. They are on their way. They're shipped. Yeah, so we'll see. 
He ordered some cheap ones, so nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I always tell people, people always ask me what camera I use, and I give them the link, but they don't want to spend. I think it was only 109 Canadian now with free shipping. It wasn't 140. It was too much. Um, <laughs> the thing is, you buy it once. Basically, you I you reap the words of my mistakes. I've had six cameras over the year: glasses, Bluetooth uh, headset, fake Bluetooth headset things, and this is the one I'm sticking with. It's fantastic, good audio, good video. Um, it's just a little pricey, but it's all metal housing. It's it's a really nice camera, and it's uh, really inconspicuous. It's with the keychain, so you don't get faces and stuff. So, anyways, go to his channel, check out his live footage. Please subscribe. I need more subs. Yeah, go ahead and give him a sub. Like I said, it's, it, it, his pickups are really good. So, um, yeah, so beautiful day. Uh, lots of community sales. Uh, the Mannheim Garage uh, community sales was this year. I started off there at 7 a.m. Uh, just to get 20 or I got 20 or 30 sales under my belt before 8 o'clock and that's always my goal Yeah, that's like bonus time you call it. No, I went out at about 7 o'clock uh, I hit a few close to me and then on the way I stumbled into the Beechwood community sale that wasn't even listed It just a few houses were listed. I saw something about it, but it was bad. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even see it So that was awesome and once I went in there it was Sale, three houses, sale, three houses, sale, three houses, sale. It was non-stop. So it was great. Um, so the problem is there was a big sale in Mannheim, uh, which is a couple of minutes out of where, where we live. Uh, we've cleaned it out over the years, so it's really not even worth, worth it to go there anymore. So uh, I just quickly want to mention, I, I forgot to mention, I've got the headset on because we're actually live streaming live on Twitch right now. It's uh, Saturday, May 2nd. Yep. At uh, 1.20 p.m. right now. So we live stream at 1 o'clock every Saturday. And we go through the live pickups. Um, the YouTube video won't be up until the following Saturday. So if you want to see the stuff that we pick up live um, when we come home yep. from that day, tune in at 1 p.m. The day we get it. Like I said, in all my videos now, I say make sure you, know, you check out the Twitch stream. I'm on my way to his house right now. So make sure if you want to see what we get the day we get it, got to see us on Twitch. So yeah, uh, a good start. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with how it went. I was telling him on the phone as we were driving around that I was one score away from it being a really good day and I ended up hitting on that score. So, Game Boy Advanced and it has um, nice Yoshi's Island Super Mario World Advanced 3 in there. And I picked that up. It was an old lady sitting there with a bunch of crafts but as always I asked. Always ask. I say, do you have any video games, Nintendo, Game Boy, etc.? She says, I have a Game Boy inside. What will you pay for it? I say, well, I need to see the condition. And she brought it out. She wanted 20 bucks, but I got it for 10 So 10 well, bucks for the Advance with the Mario game. Well played. I'm done. And the battery cover. And the battery cover, and it's basically... It's okay. I've seen it far worse. It's not it's bad at all. It's clean. Yeah, yeah, so a clean Game Boy Advance, 10 bucks. I'll take that. What would you say are the percentages of... Game when you find games, what's the percentage of like um, were they out or did you have to ask? Maybe 60 40, 70 30. I was gonna say 50 50, 60 yeah. 40. Yeah. yeah, like a good amount of the time when we find games and stuff that's not actually out for sale. Um, that's why you'll see I mentioned in the video today it was 11 30, and uh, by 10 30, your body's kind of telling you, okay, it's winding yeah. down. But if you just really keep like I after 10 30, I probably hit another 30 sales. Well, that was just it. Adam, who's with me, you'll see him in my videos, is like, oh, it's 10.30, you know, let's wind it down. And it's like, there's like a pain in my chest. I'm yeah. like, no! Because yeah. if you go, they might not have games, but you could be that one person there who hasn't asked yet. Exactly. And that's what happened today. I picked up a set, uh, score at 11.30. Somebody was there uh, a half hour earlier and picked up a Game Boy in games. But never asked if they had anything else. And you'll yeah. see that score. It's one of my best scores of the day. Yeah. That somebody just didn't ask. So even if it's late in the day and somebody's already been there, that doesn't mean that it's game over. So even if you're in an area where you keep getting, oh, somebody was already here. Um, even if people have asked, I find that like if I just keep listing stuff, and eventually it'll be like, oh, I do have some of that. That's exactly that it. Like If I would have asked that... Lady, do you have any video games, any PlayStation, Xbox? She would have said no, yep. but because I said Game Boy, she went inside and brought me out a Game Boy. And if you simply just say, uh, do you have any video games? A lot of times it just gets shot down right away. No, you don't. 
But if you go, then if you continue to list um, NES, Super Nintendo, N64, I just keep going till it sounds like annoying. Yeah. Uh, GameCube, PS2, PS3. No, we don't have any of that. Game Boy, Sega Genesis. No, nothing like that. Sega CD. <laughs> and then like yeah. finally, sometimes they'll be like, Oh wait, I do have that. Well, I asked the people right at the end of the day if they had any games, kept going, kept going, said Nintendo Wii. The son went in, grabbed a Nintendo Wii, but when he brought them out, there were some Mario games. I got all excited, but the dad wouldn't go less than 15 bucks a game. So I said, oh, I'm out. you got to know when to fold. No. And early in the season, we're both more likely to spend more than we oh, spend on things. Well, that's true, but... All I'm thinking in my head is I spend 15 bucks on one game, that 15 bucks could go towards... 10 games. 10 games around the corner. So I, right. I, I, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you got to know when to just walk away. And yeah. if somebody starts that high, um, you'll see on my on the, on the live footage that I saw a uh, box and complete black Wii U that I really wanted because I don't have the black one. Um, but she wouldn't move off of 50, uh, 50 bucks, which isn't bad. I just... I feel like I'll find one of those in the next two years for 20 or 30, so... I found one patience. with, like, a stack of Prime games. I paid 150 bucks for it, but uh, the games were, I like... Remember. That was the games were, like, 300 bucks just there, yeah. so, like... This had the box and everything. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it hurt. I also passed up a PS3 with two controllers, one of those Pulse Elite headsets, uh, for 100 bucks. That's not... I offered him 80, and he wouldn't budge. Yeah. I just felt like I wouldn't get a deal at 80, 100, and that's... It's still a good deal, but... Yeah. Anyways, I'll get to my next pick up here. Um, I've actually been saving these. Um, actually, perfect. Um, at that sale where she had the Wii, she also had a massive haul of uh, original Xbox games. I've seen two or three of these. I know there's one jet hidden, or one really good game in here. The Simpsons uh, Road... Uh, what's, it, what's the Simpsons? Road Rage? Road Rage? Which is a fantastic game. Um, but the rest I haven't really, pay, I didn't pay attention, I just grabbed them. I ended up getting all of them for 20 bucks. I think there's 30 something games here, so we'll go through these. Uh, Mech Assault 2, Lone Wolf. And I actually didn't check each one. I kind of, I checked the first, I, the one the one important one that you'll see. And I, I could just tell that they're in pretty good shape. I, I know that they're all in here. I just, sometimes you just know. Not smart, not the smartest move, but. Uh, ooh. That's, That's cool. cool. Yeah. I've, I don't have that. I'm going to have to change that case. Is. This looks cool. Yeah, <laughs> Capcom. Robin Hood, Defender of the Crown. Interesting. I am intrigued by that one. <laughs> i got to check that one out. That's cool. I don't have it. Let's see if it's... Ah. No manual. But I'll, I'll at least salvage that and keep it. I don't have it, so... That's a pretty good one. Uh, Pirates, Legend of the Black... Black Cat. I thought that would have been had, but apparently it's cat. Uh, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. I actually, I love finding um, Xbox games. Uh, Sands of Time, that's the first one. That, that's a fantastic. Um, how should we do this? I'll start with this little basket here. Sure. I just want to quickly show this off. Uh, one of the first pickups I made early this morning was this basket of, uh, it's full. There's probably got to be a, a hundred Pokemon in here. And uh, I believe they're all made by uh, Jack Pacific. So, so I mean, they're half they're like they're half decent. They're not McDonald's toys, but uh, there's, yeah. there's just a ton of them in here. I think this guy's name is Machamp. M there you go. You know them more than I do. There was, I do. There was a Geo dude. Somebody was getting on my case for not knowing all the names of the Pokemon. I can name them all. So, like, isn't there a thousand of them? Like that Pikachu or yeah. Pichu. Yeah. Anyways. There's a lot. I picked them up for Andrew. Andrew friggin' loves these. I don't even not know. Not me. How... Not me. No, my son. Is. <laughs> I don't even know how Andrew knows Pokemon. He's seen the cartoon like once or twice. And uh, maybe seen a commercial or something like that. But anyways, the whole basket was uh, five bucks. So there's probably a hundred of them in there. So pretty cool. That's a steal. Uh, do you want to jump into one of your pickups? Sure. Um... Yeah, I'll do this one. Grab the uh... game. They're all pretty good. Another Sands of Time. They really like that game. Interesting. <laughs> uh, Spider Man. Enter the Matrix. Demon Stone. That's a pretty good one. Uh, Forgotten Realms. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Manual for GTA 3. Constantine. The movie game? Yeah. Interesting. 
Well, the movie was pretty bad. You never know, though. It was bad in a good way, though. I enjoyed it. Was it? <laughs> Professional, have you seen John Wick? Oh, yeah. So good. That was amazing. I love that movie. Professional <laughs> uh, Drag Racing 2005. I showed that one to my dad. I'm like, it's like an 80s, 90s movie, but today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> With the over-the-top violence. Uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King. And then there's The Simpsons Road Rage. Right? Basically, I saw the two games that were at the front. But uh, good stack. What, there was one sports game in there, the drag racing game, if you want to call it a sport. Yep. And then here's the other box. We'll start with the big dog right away. Conquer Live and Reloaded. Excellent. And it's in fantastic. Look at it. It's, oh, it's mint. Crispy. It's to the disc. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, that's clean. So that's that's worth it right there. What did I say? I paid twenty bucks for all of these. Yeah, that's a steal. Uh, Splinter Cell, love that game when it first came out. True Crime, Streets of L.A. Thief, Deadly Shadows. I don't know if I have that on the uh, Xbox. Okay. Now I have it twice. Thief, Deadly Shadows again. Oh, here's GTA 3. So there are two different cases. It's Thief. One? One's black, one's green. Yeah, it's just the case, yeah. I guess. Uh, GTA 3. This is part of the Xbox collection. That's the one that was missing from last are week. Are you sure? Yes. Perfect. We had Vice City. That's awesome. So you last can week, that. Last week we found the double pack and it was missing the one game. That's the one it was missing. That's funny. Uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong. This is actually a really good game. I played on the 360 wasn't quite a launch game, I don't think, but I had a lot of fun playing that in 360. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. I'm gonna move a little quicker here. Armed and Dangerous, pretty cool game. Okay, that's complete, just in a crappy case. Uh, Desert Storm 2. Uh, great game here, Unreal Championship 2. Uh, Shrek Shark Tale Double Pack. Oh yeah. Nice. S the Sims. Uh, Need for Speed Underground. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. Uh, Conflict Global Terror. Far Cry Instincts. And the Atari Anthology. I actually really like these anthology yeah. games. They're kind of cool to have. So all of those were... 20 bucks. That's a steal. I think she said... There's at least 30 of them there. Yep. So that worked out really well. Alright, you want to do your next yep. one? Yep. Get these Wii games out of the way. I came across a lady who was selling... She had an Xbox system and a Wii system and a mishmash of games. And, um... She wanted like 30 bucks for the Xbox system and 40 bucks for the Wii. And I passed on those, but I said, what if I buy all the games? And she said, well, how much? I said, how about a buck a game? She agreed, so that's what usually my go-to. To start out a buck a game. And that's we, pretty and we go And we go from there. But some of these Wii games aren't the greatest, but there's Xbox games I made up for it. So there's the Wii Fit. She had the Wii Fit board. But I don't want that. It's too bad. Though. That was a great one for Nintendo Club points. It yeah. was like 60, it was like 100 points. It was something crazy. It was 60 or, I think it was 100. I'm not sure if it even has the points in it. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Mario and Sonics. London Olympics. Again, they had the fitness board, so they have My Fitness Coach 2. Sims Castaway. Indiana Jones, Staff of Kings. It was actually fun. Me and my son have played that. Uh, the GT Pro Series. And Batman the Video Game. Not bad, buck a piece. Buck a piece, I'll take them. Um, okay, so this ended up being a pretty cool pickup. It's one of the sales that I marked down. Um, a, kind of near that community sale, but a little bit outside. They mentioned Star Wars stuff. So anytime I see Star Wars stuff, I assume that there's a good chance that they're going to have video games. I'm into Star Wars stuff. I'm not, not a huge Star Wars guy, but uh, basically you can see Luke behind me there. That's a foreshadow of stuff I found, but I found a couple games there. Uh, Tomb Raider Legend. 
Uh, nice one here. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront. I actually needed that one. I have part two. Um, Star Wars The Complete Saga on the Wii. And I will attempt to show you guys these. So we've got Luke. Um, this is a Rogue Squadron uh, Rogue Squadron 3D. I guess it's the PC. Yeah. I'm over here. The PC version. Want the one behind it? Yeah, pull that out and we'll show the one behind there. So we got Luke and then this Boba Fett. It's original. I don't know. It, they, it, they had those at changes. It's original. It looks, it looks old. It looks like it could be. I mean, you would think that a newer one would have a higher res scan. Yeah, and look at the bottom. Look at the writing on it. There's some, there's some water damage at the bottom, but... For a life Yeah, 1995. Oh, it's from the, it's yeah, from the really. release. But still, I mean, I don't really care. I'm going to keep it for myself anyway. Here, well, it. Just... Oh, well, I'll just stick it over there, I guess. Okay. Uh, so well, okay, that... take a look. And then, what is this guy called? I forget. Jawa. Jawa, that's right. Ooh. No, Anyways, a little Jawa. <laughs> um, actually, can, do you want to take that just in the hall there and grab the yeah. other one that's up there? Sure. Right, right there. Oh, that's there. There's one more. This one's kind of cool. Yoda. I'll leave that right there, that's perfect. <laughs> what caps do you have? I mean, I paid 10 bucks for everything, all four standees, and these games. You can't really argue with that. Battlefront's in great condition, complete with the manual, so. I love Battlefront. 10 bucks. All right, okay. next. I'll just do all my PlayStation games at once. <sighs> okay, so I stopped at a few sales. It's funny, whenever I see a GT Snow Racer, I know that they have games because the original GTs is what we used to have. So I know that they're about my age, so they'll have some old games. And it's almost every single time I ask, do you have games? They bring up some games. I got PlayStation games from a few people. Um, again, all a dollar each. No, I lie. One place I, I, I did 17 games for 20 bucks. So, <laughs> pretty much a dollar piece. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, I'll uh, go through them now. We got Pac-Man World 2, Justice League Heroes, and another brand new sealed game. Like last week, I found a bunch. Uh, Guitar Hero World Tour, SOCOM Navy Seals, Spider-Man Friend or Foe, Outlaw Golf 2. I love the Outlaw Golf game. Yeah, Tetris Worlds. They're fun. Resident Evil uh, X Code Veronica. I checked it. It has a bonus disc, but it didn't have a manual. EverQuest Online Adventures. The Getaway. MX vs. ATV Untamed. Need for Speed Underground, Thrillville, Crazy Taxi, and ATV Off-Road Fury 2. All a buck a piece. So when games are a dollar a piece, as long as they're not sports, I pretty much fine. Yeah, can't argue with that. Yeah.